Oh, Star Soldier 1 back here again. Yeah, I'm doing another crazy video on my Turbo Graphics 16 collection. Oh, yeah, I love this system. One of my favorites. I reviewed all 94 games on my website, on YouTube, on Blip. Yeah, that's how crazy I am for it. Yeah, I'd like to show off my collection too. I did a recent video of my whole flood and everything, but yeah, now I want to do a more in depth look. Look at all those games, look at the cover arts, because that's what I went to college for. I went for art. <laughs> Yeah, not for playing video games. I wish, man. But, anyways, I'm rambling on. Let's show you that collection because I don't have a lot of time. Okay, okay. I like to draw. Yo, look at that Turbo Graphics 16 box. And look at what I did here. <laughs> yeah, I actually drew this myself. That's how nuts I am. But you already, probably already knew that if you're watching this vid. <laughs> so, I like to take a look at Turbo Graphics 16 cover art because it's very interesting to me. Oh, yeah, look at that. Here's New Adventure Island, and we're starting out with some good art. That's awesome. Yeah, lots of detail. Master Higgins never looked better. Yeah, I love that art. But not all the Turbo Graphics 16 games are known for great art. Darkwing Duck. Oh, this is terrible artwork. He looks scared and all that. Yeah, I explained that before in one of my videos. <laughs> yeah, this is just an extension of that. Yeah, side arms. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love the cock piece? But no, this is good art. You know, the character, you know, looks pretty badass. Makes you want to play. Okay, Turkey. Love the explosions. This was in my top 10. If you saw my top 10 cover list, yep. Awesome art. Glazing lasers. Yep, one of the originals, baby. And you can tell, Unfortunately, 4 j has this bad font to it. This weird spaceship that's kind of generic. Uh, good, but it just looks like they got the first cinema on the screen. Hey, let's do that for a cover art. Lazy. Uh, speaking of lazy, this one also looks like they just played the game for like a few minutes. Hey, let's let's do that for a cover art. Yeah, that's the first boss being painted there. Yeah, a guy kicked him in the head, but still. Good art. Characters are well represented. And it looks like the game you're actually going to play. Yeah, I think this actually looks like the game you're about to play too, but that's also part of the problem. It looks flat, two-dimensional. You know, you want your cover art to stand out a bit better than this. Next. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Spirit. Now, this one is actually not too bad. I didn't mind too much. Again, bad font, but the dragon looks kind of medicine, medicine cool. But the Japanese cover art actually has the main characters on there. The prince, the princess, and the dragon itself. You know, it puts more meat on the bones. <laughs> and then we get, oh, this piece of shit. Yeah, this is shit. I already said that before. Pure crap Dungeon Explorer. Good game though. <laughs> oh, we finally got some good art again. Yeah, final latch win. Yep, lots of action going on here. Cars skinning out. Yeah, looks like we're all F1 race. Very cool. Yeah, this one is just. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even try to do art. They just took a screenshot of the game. Boom, that's your cover. But still, it's Galaga and it looks awesome. Yeah, then we got JJ and Jeff here. Cool art. And that's what you're actually doing in the game. Oh, you're kicking your friend. Because <laughs> he's a bit of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, keep encouraging up with zones. Again, cool cover book art. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of detail in there. Lots of different characters represented. It was a good start for a turbo, but unfortunately the game is not that good. And then we got Notopia here. And here we got this char main character of the foreground. Uh, this I have a problem with. They do that a lot to rest it team cover art. And <laughs> main issue I have with this is your character is supposed to be the main focus point. And here he is in the foreground where you can barely see him. At least the font looks cool. And so does the dragon. Uh, then we get Ordine. Why is the second player character here having blonde hair when he does it in the actual game? Oh, shit, I hate you. Uh, good cover art, but... Uh, Yep, power goal. Lame. <laughs> Hired some cheesy after do golf scene. Who cares? Yeah, you know I don't like this one either. Like the deep blue, it looks flat, boring. Our touch should be excited. It should stand out more. <sighs> That's <laughs> space area. Now look at this. This one looks 3D. Actually looks like side cabinet art. Now that's awesome. Yep, taking it to the hoop. Can't see his armpit here. Which is great. <laughs> Problem is, I'll go back to that one later. Vigilante. Yep, that one actually looks like the game. Cool cover. 
Yay. Now we got arrow glasses. Yep, cool art. I wish there was more going on in the background though besides explosions. Ballistic. Now this is cool art. Bit weird <laughs> because you don't actually see any balls here, but still good art and makes you want to play the game even though you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, Battle Royal. Cool art, but it's very confusing. Oh, you people fighting in the ring and all that. You get the gist of it, but still. <laughs> I don't know. I think they added a bit too much in there. It's a bit too chaotic. If it was a bit simpler, maybe it would have looked a bit nicer, you know? Less confusing. Yeah, Bloody Wolf. Now, this is cool art. That actually looks like a movie poster or something. Yep, that was one of my favorites. And Vaughn's Adventure, yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep these nice and short. Bonk free. <laughs> yeah, cool cover, but yeah, Bonk looks kind of weird here, you know? <laughs> I don't know, with the whole beady eyes and big heads and the funny looking legs. Not, definitely not one of the best Bonk arts. Yeah, I actually like this one a bit better, even though Bonk looks a bit more simple in design. Yeah, the Triceratops looks cool, jungle area looks cool, and Bonk, you know, is a monk and stuff. Like he should be. Bravo, man. Woohoo! I like this cover art. I think it actually looks better than the Japanese one. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have the Japanese version here. I'm only nerdy about the uh, North American releases, unfortunately. Yeah, very cool cover art. I love this one. That was also in my top 10. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Debbie's Forever Botson. Shows a case of the legends right there. That's cool. Much better than like Power Golf and World Core Tennis. Yeah, Chu Man Fu. Yeah, this looks freaking stupid, but <laughs> hey, whatever. A guy holding a whole bunch of balls together. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why I didn't sell millions and millions of copies. Speaking of not selling millions and millions of copies, here's David Cup Tennis. Pretty lame. <laughs> yeah, I heard actually the Mega Drive version actually had a bunch of hot women on it. <laughs> At least in the ads, anyway. Dead Moon. Now, here's my foreground issue again. Like, <laughs> see that ship? Because it's so close to the foreground, you know? Have it in the center. And here we just got a, a skeleton hand up there for no reason. Ah, lame. Yeah, I like this one. Devil's Crush. Very cool, very airy, and you know it's a pinball game. Double Dungeons. Uh, this one, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the shading on this main hero there, and I don't like the two dungeons there. Well, it goes with the stupid name and all, but... Uh, it just looks so lazy. There, you just got two random creatures popping out. And then you got this lazy skeleton just hanging around. He has a big smile on his face. Ha ha, you bought this game, sucker. Ah, double dungeons. It's double lame. <laughs> okay, that sucked. Dragon's Curse. Yeah, not bad artwork, but I don't like this guy bending over and all that. That's, that's friggin' weird. Good looks a bit more manly. Now, Ghost Matter. Very detailed, excellent shade in. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> okay, gumbo. Yeah, lots of action here. Yeah, fools you into thinking it's a good game, <laughs> which it's not. Impossible. Yeah, who doesn't want to be this badass mole character? Then you play it, and he's a freaking pussy. <laughs> yeah, cool art though. Much better than this. Okay, he's playing golf. Who cares? That's King of Casino. I don't know. Uh, saw machine in the background. Yeah, whatever. Anybody could draw that. <laughs> Unlike this. I like this. Now, this is nice and colorful. You see a lot of detail. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on in the background here. And the main hero looks badass. Yeah. Okay, Legendary Ads 2. I know a lot of people like this one, but I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, here we got the two main characters holding axes here, but it's false advertising. They're holding swords in the beginning. Urgh. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of that game. I'm not a fan of this one either, Night Creatures. That art is awesome though. Excellent detail on all four figures, heads here. But the game itself, ooh, bad. <laughs> so bad. And then we get <laughs> Ninja Spirit, which has much worse art, but it's a much better game. Oh man, I guess I like the wolf in the background here, but against the moon. You know, you got the moonlight there, how ironic. But yeah, the ninja character himself looks, I don't know, kind of weird. He doesn't have a, the proper shading, you know? He looks the same on each side. And art, you know, you gotta get your shading down right. <laughs> yeah, Parasol Stars, nice colorful theme. 
fits the kiddish feel of that game. Well done. Ah, Natopia 2, and this is another cover art that's actually better than the Japanese one. They went for a more kiddish feel in that one. This one, a more grown-up feel, and I like that. Character looks badass with the princess there. He's saving. Very cool. Okay, only a few left. Slaughterhouse. Yeah, I love this cover art. Adds some detail. Nice dark atmosphere. I don't like the meat hands, but I think I said that already in my review. But cool art. Yeah, I hate this cover art here. Super volleyball? Holy crap. I don't know. I don't know if the artists are like in fifth grade or something. Should I really be been making fun of this, you know? I'd give them like a, <laughs> a C for effort. <laughs> okay, little Jimmy, you did okay. <laughs> but there's some things we gotta work on. <laughs> Let's move on. Tailspin. Oh, this is some cool Disney-like artwork. Well, it is Disney. <laughs> yep. They kept true to the cartoon and all. Oh, well represented. Okay, Tiger Road. No, I'm definitely not a fan of this artwork. <laughs> this character is just swinging around weapons like nothing. We got this whole foreground issue again. And <laughs> there's just too much random shit going on here. Didn't like it. It's in my top 10 worst ones. Ah, I still stand by that. And this one's Brayland too. It's just a crystal ball. Weak. <laughs> At least that cover art looks better than the game itself. Turkey Kick. Uh, you got all the characters represented here, but it's a bit too cluttered too, you know? I don't know, what the heck am I supposed to be looking at? <laughs> There's no central focus point, you know? Okay, moving on. Yeah, speaking of central focus point, you know what to look at here. Yeah, you know this is a basketball player. You know it's a sign because he's smashing through the TV. Very cool, but then you play the game. <laughs> I think they spent more time doing the cover arts than they did working on this stupid game. <laughs> Same goes for this one. Cool art, bad game. Okay, biggest tactical gladiator. I don't know why this one didn't make it in my top 10 because this robot looks like a cheap ass cool bot. Like look at his legs. This is not a medicine I don't know, robots that are supposed to save the world here from all these uh, giant mets and all that. This looks like a freaking toy you get it in like a lame cereal box. That's so bad. He doesn't even have a proper face. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? It's like a trash can or something. <sighs> Anyways, moving on. Okay, hopefully you can see that. It's Fancy Zone. <sighs> yeah, I think they play the game for like two minutes. Boom, let's draw it. And make it look like complete and utter crap. You compare this to a Japanese original cover art. They didn't even try here. <sighs> alien Crush. Now this looks cool at least. You know, main alien figure looks cool. Little sports competition. Yeah, lots going on here. I like this. Yeah, taking it to Hoot. Remember what I said earlier? Oh, look, you can actually see his armpit here. Ew, that's sick, man. Oh, yeah, a fan actually pointed that out to me. Yeah, yo, bro, terrible art. Look at this. There's just so much shit going on at once. <laughs> yeah, the bear looks ill proportion. Look at this patch. No way that would be on there on the back of his back like that. But anyways, moving on. Thank God. <laughs> if I need to explain to you that bad, then oh, I definitely need to explain this one too because this one, nothing's going on here. It's just Black Void. Here we got Black Void here, but we got more Black Void here. At least we got a crowd in the background here, but still pretty boring. Okay, Victory Run. Now this one looks cool at least, except this is not a red Corvette in the actual game. So it's kind of false advertising. Yeah, TV sports football. Cool art. Again, like the other ones. Yeah, time cruise. Cool space art. Yep. Superstar soldier, not too bad. Yep, summer assault. Basic, but good. Soldier blade. Now, here's my favorite one. If you saw my top 10 cover art. Anyways. Yeah, so much going on here. I love the you know, light source in. Add some detail on the ship. Sign the buggers. Yeah, very cool alien. Makes you want to blast it and kill it? Yeah, kill it. 
Shockman. Very cool enemies to art. Yeah, Pac-Man. A bit too basic. <laughs> Especially after seeing that cool Shockman one. Okay. Or the Griffin. Freaking cool. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like this one. Yeah, that was in my top 10 worst. Yeah, Military Madness. Now this one's pretty cheesy too. <laughs> Tates don't even look very realistic. Too cartoony. Yeah, this one looks nice and yeah. Action packed. I like that. Quats. Cool logo. Hit the ice. I like this one too. Yeah, very comical action. Okay, Falcon. Very cool art. Yeah, drop off. Yeah, just put a bunch of random stuff in your art. Lame, lazy. Okay, Crater Maze. Yeah, why is this dragon here? Okay, whatever. Yeah, doesn't he look like he can jump over these mazes? <laughs> Certainly big enough. Foxy boy. God, is this a flame. <laughs> Barman 93, very chaotic. Lots of explosions, lots of characters. Yeah, it tells you what the game is all about. But then we move on to this one, the original Barman. Here we got a bunch of Jim Belushi characters <laughs> from Bombs. Okay, whatever. I don't know why they went for a more realistic look. <laughs> but it's a bad realistic look. Yeah, Andre Panza's kick pots in. I don't know, this looks kind of weird. And here we got Andre Panza here, who's not even the main focus. It looks like this guy's the main focus. Ah. Anyway, Arizona, very cool art. Okay. Oh my god. God, that's a lot. Oh, I'm sweating. See how many games that was? Look how many games I'm holding. All right, I just wanted to show off the cool cover arts. Unfortunately, I couldn't show them all off because I don't have a complete collection of all the games and boxes. Ah. See, here's some card ones that unfortunately are not in the box, but for whatever reason, yeah. Yeah, Magical Chase is in there too. Where's that one? There it is. Yeah, I wish I had that one in the box, but no such luck. <laughs> but still, I'm lucky to have the card anyways. So anyways, yeah, that's my Torograss C collection. I figure I'll just show it off in a little video here because, I don't know, I like showing it off. Besides, I don't want to lose this collection like in the, I don't know, knock on wood or nothing, but might as well show it off while I can. Because it's very cool underrated system that everybody needs to play. Whew, okay, this is Star Soldier, Ryan Jado for Real Games 101 and all that stuff. Over. Hand out. <laughs>